Okay, welcome everybody. So, just let's talk about a story, about how we did it in our, my community without so much, uh, um, as I can say, trust about that we can do it. So, before to start, I want to talk about a little about me, just to say that I have a bit of experience now inside Mozilla. The Mozilla community is not my first FOSDEM, it's not my first FOSDEM as speaker. I usually talk in the Mozilla room every time about a different topic because I'm involved in different kinds of things. I have a lot of experience uh, inside the community management, also because I'm involved uh, in the WordPress community as contributor, core, blah, 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 these kind of things. So all this kind of experience was helpful to achieve this in, two, in a work of two years. Also, I've written a book about, it's free and open source, about my experience of contributing to open source, and this talk uh, used some of the stuff that I've already written. So just talk about what is happening. So, first of all, we need to understand that this is a project about, from the Mozilla Italia community. And what is a Mozilla Italia community? Well, it's kind of many of the other Mozilla community that exist around the world. There are also a few people here, but you can find it online, that work in, in our case in the, uh, for the linguistics, so everything that involves the Italian language, but also the local country. Because there are communities that are involved also in many other countries because the language is spread from, in different countries. So, we're involved in localization, support, participation, development, in many things. And just you can see from the photo, we'll all be together in a lot of things. So maybe the next year there will be your face in these slides, or maybe in the your community side slide that you have no idea that exists. So we love to work together. And to work together, we worked in a plan of two years because the speech recognition, the Mozilla world is split mainly in two steps. First of all, the data. This Mozilla is doing with the Common Voice project or voice.mozilla.org project, where communities or people can unlock their language there so people can start recording and review uh, sentences, read it, of course. So we will have in the future a data set of, the, of public domain of any language. It is a big project, of course, and requires a lot of time in a lot of ways. When you have the data, the next step is to use it. So jumping on the last part is this speech. This speech is another project by Mozilla. It's written in Rust with a lot of bindings, etc. I don't have to explain what it is. You can find it, everything online. That just need your data to generate a voice recognition model. Now Mozilla realized also the text-to-speech project based on that. So you can use it in a lot of ways. So the first year we worked on starting up the project to gather data. Then the next year we started working on using it. So what we did the first year to succeed on the first goal? Well, we allocated the language on the Common Voice portal. This means that we gathered a lot of sentences and defined some, define, uh, some rules. As an example, uh, how much you need to belong because we discovered when we tested this, because we gathered like 11,000 sentences and we saw when we did the first events about recording that we have some problems that like long sentences because Italian has long words. So we didn't test them and see that we don't have enough time to say everything. So with this event, the Italian Hacking Camp two years ago and with a lot of the Mozilla swag that we have, we put price just to get the most maximum amount of people testing it, like we did, uh, I don't know, for 20 recordings, you will get a Mozilla poster. The problem is that we got so many people that want to get swag that we have to double that. And we finished it anyway, everything. So we tested what we did, and we improved our rules. The next step was to experimenting promotion with zero funding, because we are a community, we are volunteer, we do something else in the life, so we don't have so many money to put on that. So we experimented in different ways, like organizing events in different cities with different people as speakers. So we can have something in the ground, they know better the place and know what is the best point to explain to get some uh, feedback from the people. To do with that, we did, did uh, an Italian slide deck of like 40 slides with a lot of things. To just to, be, to let to the speaker to have all the slides that they need as an example. I have to go to speak at university, 
in computer science might be much, uh, machine learning this speech is very interesting to explain but if I go to a microspace maybe they don't care of that they have no knowledge about that so we need something more simple in that way with this kind of modular slides we got a lot of speakers also from outside the community that promoted for us what we was doing it these are kind of examples of the slide this is the common voice website just to explain what, where you have to press the button, these kind of things. This was one that explained what is machine learning. We had more of them, but you have to consider it was thinking but from the bottom to the top. So for any kind of audience, so we explain what is machine learning the most easy way in this case. So the next year, what we did? Well, we plan, worked a lot on marketing and promotion because we are a small community. And we need feedback. Italian is a language with 60 million speakers because this is the country. So we think that maybe there is people outside that we don't know. So we tested new social tactics to get promotion. First of all, was to write a big kind of weekly uh, post on the forum with a lot of updates from international and national about common voice and speech. This because we got always new people joining on our channels asking always the same questions. So we said, maybe we need to save time to, to reply to these people doing something else, because we have too many things to do. And this worked very well, because during the time, I appreciated a lot when we passed the new year, how many things we did. And we shared this post in a lot of new places that we never tried during the years, like Reddit, in the Italian subreddit about uh, IT World, and also specific Facebook Italian groups, where we wasn't, there, there are, take enthusiastics, so not just developers, open source people. We need to find new people just to get the most amount of feedback that we can. And also, with the help of Mozilla, we got the promotion inside the About Home page of Firefox. There are the snippets. I don't know how many of you use so, but there was a specific spe snippet for Italian users about try common voices. For us, it was kind of incredible because we did it in common voice in five months, 10, hour, 10 hours of recordings. With two weeks, with this promotion, we got 40 hours. Just to say that for us was, eh, it's kind of incredible what we did with this kind of a bit of promotion, very good. Also, we created a category on the, in this course of Mozilla that is public, is international. You can find also Mozilla employed there. You can find all the community. And there is a common voice category and also this speech. And we got an Italian category where to speak Italian just for us because the Common Voice website referred to this course. So that it was the only link where people want to try to find us. And uh, also we tested with specific kind of tweets, but not from our Mozilla Italia social channel official, but also ours with different kind of keywords, uh, hashtag, just to see what was working better. One of the things that we did was to keep updated the slide because time comes, there are changes, projects evolving, so we need to update it. And we got the new people that was using it, and we have no idea, that contributed back to improving it. Next, also, we created specific kind of activities for people with zero knowledge of, of Mozilla, what works, what is the project, and also with few uh, time to contribute. We saw looking at the people that was joining us, what was the most uh, interested things for them, what was the most uncommon background, these kind of things. Just to understand what the people was joining, what we can offer just to them to keep them part of what we are doing. The second part was to thinking about documentation and planning, so mainly community management. We defined a draft in English this time, not Italian, and it's public, of course, like the rest of staff about our needs from Mozilla and the project Common Voices mainly. And we, and we started to update this, mo this document during the year with all of what we did, what we did, cannot did, what are the problems, etc. And at the same time, we shared that because it was public outside the community with these new channels that we found. Again, to be sure that everyone was informed, but also to get the most feedback to understand or to explain what we are doing because it's kind of new. Or everything. And uh, we planned a meeting with Mozilla employees that follow Common Voice just to share these, our needs from the community <coughs> and people outside that have no idea what is Common Voice. 
and to get ans answers and fixed some things. So for us, it was very important to have this one-on-one -on -one relation with Mozilla, and this is possible. Also, uh, <clears throat> review and gather ideas from all over the communities, not maybe just me or another volunteer that, that say, okay, we have to do this. No. We was open to everyone just to have the best effect that we can do with what we have, a tiny community. And, and we, do, we do also usually a monthly video call that is open to everyone, and the, we publish on YouTube after the call, but it's open to everyone. So we got people that was just joining there just to be, to show what we are doing, just, you know, people. And uh, define goals for any kind of area that you want to do something. Later, when we saw our people, our volunteers, what they can do, we saw the priority. So just, uh, you now say, we are, these are the, the area, but just to say, for every area, we want this as a priority, and let us see who can do it everything. So for us, it was very important also that every decision was open. So everyone can say something, because for Mozilla, we need transparency, we need inclusion of everyone. And also, we extended our internal ideas to all the community, because we opened the uh, thread in the international category on this course to see also other community what, how was doing something that maybe we have an idea, maybe someone already did, and often happens, but there is no communication often. The third part was maybe the most one that we are interested as developer, like me, is development and experimentation. First of all, we created a repo that's based on the scripts from um, the French community of Mozilla, because they have a Mozilla employee that is Alexander, Alexandre, you know, Alexander, that is watching me right now probably, and uh, that is uh, working <laughs> on this pitch. And he's written a lot of bash script and Docker image for, to generate the model for French. So we said, well, we can fork it, change what we need just to use Italian stuff, like files, corpus, these kind of things. And this was by just one person, me, that doesn't have so many experience about how works this pitch. I am a developer, I work Bash, these kind of things, but they have no idea how works machine learning in the details. So I started just because it was time. The cool part that when I did everything, use, uh, fixed the Bash, the Bash script to do for Italian, I said to the whole community, to all these new social groups, these kind of things, we need testers. When I say that, a lot of people joined on testing it on their company web server, AWS, Azure, that are very a cost. So they just to try everything and contributed back to fix what wasn't working, what was, can be improved, etc. these kind of things. In that way, we got new valid maintainers, more than me, skilled on these kind of things, that now are pushing on these kind of things. Also, for me, it was very important, but also intriguing and thrilling, because after seven years in the Mozilla community, we got, for the first time, companies that was contributing to us, to our project. In this case, we got patch, server, support, experimentation. In this case, the most simple is, was a Telegram bot that compared the recording with Google speech and our model. For us, it was really, now we can play it with something without is style deep speech because it's not easy. And now, me, because the first person is just doing project management or something about the development of this without following that part. Because I want to say that because it's not so scary getting a model for who doesn't have knowledge. You just need to start and ask because the community specific of a language, it's big. And you can find more easily. Later, talking with our community, we built uh, an Android app for Common Voice because there wasn't, because it's a website, because for the kind of different kind of reason. Also, to spread at most we can, we uh, did a, a new leaflet because we, we have this repo about in Italian with the leaflet about, I don't know, Mozilla, what is Firefox, this kind of thing. So when there is an event by, I don't know, a Linux user group in a city, and we don't have anyone there, they can print it and share it. And we did one about common voice and this speech. And during these years, we contributed a lot in different common voice tools and projects based on our needs, on problems that we find. So 
This was the first big achievement for us, a fifth public official dispatch model online built in October. With the Docker image to generate the model, so you can do it, based in two different data sets. There are not so many hours, and this is a problem that we are addressing, but what we need to do now after to have the model? Well, we have the model, but we don't have any instruction how to use it. So we need to do a bit of documentation. Also, a week ago, there was a new release of Common Voice data. So we, our data set now is 90 hours, and it's still growing. So we need to update the model, and also with a lot of things like transfer learning, this kind of things, and testing it. A cool thing was this, because I joined the KDA Academy in Milan, just because I'm a KDA user, uh, sometimes contributor. So I made the chief editor of this magazine, printed, and he interviewed me about Common Voice and what we was doing, in the, and the first time after Firefox OS moment, we got something in a, a magazine talking about what the community was doing it. There is also a video interview uploaded on YouTube, but also in the DVD attached to the magazine. So for us, it was very interesting because we didn't did any effort on doing this kind of marketing. Just going around for us was very helpful because I have no idea that I got this for the community. So what is next? This year for Italy will be very important because we will have two big international, national international events, and the past year there was nothing, just to understand what is the situation. And we will join them with different ideas about uh, testing it, improving, etc. We will want to create also Italian videos about how to, create, uh, to use Common Voice because we have people that always ask the same questions again, like what is the best microphone? I have to do a review, a sentence as an example. So after a while, it's better to do a video that is more easy to see and instead of long documentation. Also, we need to do tutorials about using our model. And we want to do it in Italian, but there are a lot of projects that already implement this speech and release their tutorials. But we want to do it in Italian for our model. That way we can gather more people. And also, get you ready for the Linux Day, because in Italy we don't have the, free, uh, the software Freedom Day. We have the Linux Day. And it is usually in 70 cities in the same day. And as, as Mozilla, we have usually five or six cities with uh, Mozilla Talks. We want to be sure to extend this uh, our area. So closing it, there is a long blog post version with all of the links, also in the forum, because uh, the Mozilla employees that working on Common Voice asked me to write my experience. And I did it. I did also the slides. So you can find a lot of links, ideas, uh, etc. there. For any question, of course, I'm here. Instead, if you are Italian and want to, more, to know more, we have Telegram groups. You can reach us with this both. In case for the others, non-Italian speakers, of course, <laughs> I'm here and finished. Do people have questions? No questions, good. Okay. Good to go. Uh, ah, okay, one. Yeah. This is a cool. Okay. So the question is, uh, how do you how do you manage variation with languages? And the example was used as French, where when there's accent between regions, and they don't use the same expressions and stuff. This is a good example because if you see the French uh, scripts, they are using different data sets, like also for African. But the good part is that Common Voice, uh, as uh, when you are register a profile you can set what is your accent for specific languages, like French and English mainly. For Italian, it's complicated. So in the data set, it's reported for every recording. It's anonymous, the user, but you know what is the accent. So if you want to build, as an example, just use common voice for French, but from people from poor French, as we can say, you can do it. And what is the quality when you mix different data sets, in this, like this case? Well. This depends on the amount of hours. More amounts of hours you put there, maybe the quality is better. So, 
So it's kind of experimenting this. A part of, a part of the answer is uh, you need diversity in the recordings. If you listen, if you participate a bit and go to voice.mozilla.org and you don't want to use your voice, you can just listen. You'll hear that it's mainly male that are my age talking. Um, there's little variation there. So if you have a girlfriend that wants to participate, that helps already. Uh, if you have a girlfriend that's from the south with a proper south accent, that helps already, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The more um, diverse training data the model has, the more it's going to be able to extend and understand every accent and not, usually, not, not talk these accents, but at least understand them. So it's about the amount of, it's, uh, it's about the volume of samples. The more, the merrier. Exactly. One of the experiments that we want to do is for transfer learning, use the Spanish model that a volunteer built and see how much change the quality of the Italia one. It's not the same language, but there are similarities. And we are now in a phase of experimentation. So with transfer learning, it's possible to test these kind of things. And of course, again, how many <coughs> the big amount of hours you can put on the speech is better. The point is that you need to tiny everything just to test. The quality of the Italian model right now is kind of horrible <laughs> because we did it just in time for the Linux day at the time, but we need more people that can help us. Uh, but you can try for French uh, and see what happens. I don't speak French, so I don't know the quality of the other one. So is <clears throat> for any kind, we need more testing and experimenting because now I think we are at the first steps to see what will happen. The good part that is everything open source or public domain, so you can use it for everything you want. Other questions? Thank you very much. Grazie.